bless you everyone um philippians chapter 3 verse 8 apostle paul says something very incredible he said that before he found jesus or before jesus found him there were things that mattered to him things that were so grandiose so important so premium to him but when he came to know jesus he placed more weight he, the, the knowledge of Jesus became more important to him and that stands out for me the knowledge of Jesus encompasses everything we are crying about it encompasses everything we ever needed and this weekend as we celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus I, I really want to juggle your mind to remind you why Jesus died Jesus died to bring us into a new season, a new covenant, a new way of living, a new way of loving, a new way of faith. He died on the cross. He gave up his life. He sacrificed his future. He sacrificed his destiny that we may have abundance of life, that we may live again, that we may flourish. He opened the door, the access door to the throne of God. So today we can call on God, our Father. We can call him our Father. No more the distant God, but our own personal Father. Therefore, it gives me great joy. To be honest, I also place premium on my knowledge that God so loved the world and loved me that he gave his son Jesus to die for us, to pay the price that we owed, to pay the debt that we owed. And today we are free. We are justified by our faith in Christ Jesus. Oh my God, there is therefore no condemnation unto us because we are in Christ Jesus. No one can anymore bring a judgment against us. Because of that, we are more than conquerors through him. Because of that, we can do all things. Because of that today, we can, we can you know, rejoice knowing that we have eternal life waiting for us. It is amazing what Jesus did. If you have not genuinely received Jesus in your heart, you are missing out. Knowing Jesus is the best thing that can happen to you. It brings the all those things you are craving for, the love you are craving for, the acceptance you are craving for. They are all fully packaged in what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. In what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary, horses are broken yokes are broken captivities are broken we come into liberation we come into liberty we no longer allow the enemy to cage us nothing you know the best is we have abundance of life here on earth and hereafter therefore i want you to confess with me say lord jesus i come before you i have lived a messed up life i have lived a frustrated life i have tried to help myself none of them worked Today, I acknowledge God that you came from heaven into this earth as a man. And Jesus, you went on the cross for me. You paid the ultimate price. You paid the cost of my sins. You paid the cost of my rebellion. And so I repent genuinely. I lay all at your feet today. I accept the death you died for me. I accept the price you paid for me. And today, I give you my whole heart. I give you my soul. I give you everything I have about me. I just, just surrender all to gain the knowledge of you and today I make you the Lord and Savior of my life. That means I surrender my time. I surrender all that's worth to me. I surrender all that matters to me. I surrender everything, my car, my house, my family, my children, my marriage, my joy, my job, my salary, everything belongs to you. The totality of me, I live the I want to live the life of you the life i now live is no longer i that lives the jesus that lives in me i want to live a life of holiness and righteousness because today i receive your spirit i receive the mind of christ therefore from today i am transformed from inside and i'm moving from glory to glory from anointing to anointing from territory to territory from blessing to blessing praise god if you pray that prayer you are a new creature the Bible says, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Old lifestyles have passed away. Addictions have passed away.
fornications are passed, passed away. Adultery is passed away. Hating people is passed away. Swearing is passed away. And everything becomes new. New. Everything becomes new. You have come into a new identity. Tell yourself, I have a new identity. As a child of God. As the child of the Most High God. As a holy child of God. Sanctified. Blessed child of God. Therefore, I am flourishing. God is my shepherd. I no longer lack anything. You know, my life is now a life of peace and a life of holiness. I have a new name in Jesus. And so, Father, I thank you. I thank you for the grace upon my life. Say, God, I thank you for the grace upon my life to run this race. Therefore, now I fight a good fight of faith. Say, I fight a good fight of faith. I do not fight anyhow, for God is with me and God is in me. God lives in me. I can do all things through Christ Jesus. And because God is in me, I have an excellent spirit. I do not fail. I do not, uh, uh, I'm, I'm never frustrated. And I will make it in my life. And at the end of the age, I will return back to my father. As the Lord Jesus resurrected on the resurrection day, on Easter day, one day I will be resurrected. And I will go to meet him in heaven where my mansion is. If you believe that, say a big amen. Amen. Happy Easter. Happy Good Friday. God bless you. Pastor Chica here.